Our oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface. These places are home to secrets most people have never seen until now. A bunch of salty old sea dogs, used to the same old routine of casting their nets and hauling in the day's catch. Then bam, their world turns upside down. One minute they're bobbing about on the ocean waves, the next they're staring at dry land. Yep, you heard that right. The ocean floor, once hidden beneath miles of water, was suddenly there for the taking. And that's not all. These seasoned sailors also swear they spotted something straight out of a mermaid myth. Creatures, half human, half fish, flitting about in the crystal clear water. What in Neptune's name was going on? It's like something out of a wild sci-fi flick. Could there be entire civilizations living down there, completely hidden from our prying eyes? Or maybe it's just a really, really weird trick of the light. Join us on this wild ride as we dive deep into the story of these baffled fishermen. We'll uncover the latest, most mind-boggling discoveries they made, the unforeseen discovery. So, there was this group of seismologists studying the ocean floor, you know, the kind who look for earthquakes. They were just doing their thing when they stumbled upon something totally wild. According to them, they suddenly saw a brand new island popping out of the water. Like out of nowhere, it was one of those once in a thousand years kind of deals. Turns out, there was actually a whole mountain growing underwater. This incredible event took place in the Pacific Ocean, where an underwater volcanic eruption led to the formation of a new island. On September 10th, 2022, a volcano erupted on Home Reef, an undersea mountain that is usually hidden beneath the waves. As the volcano continued to erupt, Lava and ash spewed out, gradually building up until a new island emerged above the water's surface. Within just a few days, the island had grown to cover an area of approximately 8.6 acres and stood about 49 feet above sea level. The seismologists were amazed by this rare geological phenomenon. They explained that such events are incredibly uncommon and can only occur under specific conditions. The formation of this new island was a result of the volcanic activity along the seafloor ridge that stretches from New Zealand to Tonga, an area known for having the highest density of underwater volcanoes in the world. This ridge is part of the Mid-Ocean Ridge System, the most extensive chain of mountains on Earth, with more than 90% of it lying underwater. As the seismologists continued their study, they observed that the volcanic activity was still ongoing, with lava flows and plumes of steam and ash rising from the new island. The water surrounding the island was discolored due to volcanic rock fragments and sulfur from the eruption. While the island quickly grew over the following weeks, experts noted that such islands are typically short-lived. For example, previous eruptions at Home Reef in 1984 and 2006 also created temporary islands that eventually eroded away. This discovery was not only a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet, but also a reminder of the many mysteries that still lie hidden beneath the ocean's surface. The seismologist's unexpected find captured the imagination of people around the world, highlighting the incredible power and unpredictability of nature. But hold on, because this story isn't even the weirdest thing that has happened in our waters. On another occasion, in a cruise ship full of people, Someone just started screaming, it's Titanic. Turns out, this massive iceberg was just chilling there, minding its own business. When this boat almost had a head-on collision with it, everyone on board was probably thinking, is this really happening? People were freaking out, some even recording videos, thinking it might be their last moments. It was like a scene straight out of 1912 when the famous unsinkable Titanic met its watery grave after bumping into an iceberg. It was a total flashback. But thankfully, this time, disaster was avoided. But boy, it was close. The ocean extravaganza. Sometime back in 2018, a group of folks were just out on the water, soaking up the sun and enjoying the rhythmic sound of the waves lapping against their boat. Everything was calm and serene until suddenly they were surrounded by a bunch of playful sea lions. But these weren't just any sea lions. It seemed like they were hosting the ocean's hottest party of the year. And if that wasn't enough to make jaws drop, a pod of humpback whales decided to crash the party. Dozens of massive whales mingling with groups of sea lions. It was like nature's version of a celebrity event. The tour guide on the boat couldn't believe their eyes and told everyone that witnessing something like this was a rare treat. 
The tourists were in for a real-life adventure, and the story spread quickly, making waves, pun intended, among everyone who heard about it, the Wales Guardians. Now, if that ocean party wasn't enough excitement for one day, imagine being part of a breathtaking moment where a giant of the deep brings new life into the world. This heartwarming adventure took place off the coast of Cape Town, where a group of fishermen were minding their own business, hoping to reel in a good catch. Suddenly, the calm waters around them erupted with life as hundreds of dolphins began to dance in the waves, creating a swirling spectacle of excitement. At first, the fishermen were bewildered, trying to make sense of all the commotion. But then, the incredible truth hit them. They were witnessing a whale giving birth right before their eyes. The dolphins weren't just frolicking for fun. They were playing the role of loyal guardians, circling the whale to ensure no predators came near. It was as if they were the whale's personal bodyguards, protecting her and her newborn in this most vulnerable of moments, the echo of the mermaids. And speaking of the mysterious wonders of the sea, there's a tale that spread like wildfire, capturing the imaginations of everyone who heard it. The story goes that one late afternoon, as the sun dipped toward the horizon, a sailor was just about to wrap up his day's work when a strange sound caught his attention. At first, he thought he might be hearing things. After all, a long day at sea can play tricks on your mind. But then, the sound grew louder, more distinct until it became clear as day. It was as if the very depths of the ocean were calling out, echoing with a sound that was eerily similar to the fabled call of mermaids. The noise was so haunting, so mesmerizing, that anyone within earshot would have been captivated by it. The sailor couldn't shake the feeling that he had just experienced something truly extraordinary, something that defied explanation, the mermaid mystery. Now let's dive into a story that stirred up a frenzy about a decade ago a video that got everyone talking and reignited the age-old debate about whether mermaids are real. It all started with a sailor who was catching some much-needed rest in his cabin. When a sudden commotion outside jolted him awake, his friends were making quite the racket, so he grabbed his camera and rushed out to see what all the fuss was about. To his amazement, they had caught something in their net, something that didn't belong to the usual catch of the day. Excitement buzzed through the crew as they tried to get a better look at whatever it was they had snagged. But before they could capture more than a fleeting glimpse, the net gave way and the mysterious creature slipped back into the sea's depths. The only evidence they had was a brief blurry shot of what looked like a claw, just enough to send imaginations into overdrive and reignite the debate about the existence of mermaids. Some people said it was likely a trick but others were convinced it was evidence that mermaids might just be real after all, but not as real as seeing a mummified body that has been strangely preserved, the mummified sailor. One time, a group of sailors going about their business, when they suddenly spot a boat drifting aimlessly on the horizon, the boat looked like it had seen better days, weathered and worn, as if it had been lost at sea for ages. Curiosity got the best of them and they decided to investigate what they found inside would make anyone's blood run cold. There, slumped over in the cabin, was the mummified body of a sailor, perfectly preserved by the salty sea air. It was like something straight out of a ghost story. Without wasting any time, the sailors contacted the authorities, and soon an investigation was launched. The mummified sailor turned out to be none other than Manfred Bigrow, a man who had been missing since way back in 2009. The discovery sent shockwaves through the maritime community, and while some speculated that he might have suffered a heart attack, the exact cause of his death remains a mystery to this day. If you think that is strange, then this next one will really shock you, the underwater mystery. The Danish Defense Command recently released some video footage that had everyone talking. In the footage, you could see bubbles rising ominously from the depths of the Baltic Sea. At first, it seemed like another one of those curious ocean phenomena, but then the truth came out, and it was far more unsettling. It turned out that these bubbles were actually gas leaking from two Nord Stream pipelines that run under the Baltic Sea. 
These pipelines, which transported gas between Russia and Europe, had experienced major leaks almost at the same time. The timing was too coincidental, leading to suspicions that the leaks might have been the result of deliberate sabotage. The question on everyone's mind was, who could have done it and why? What was the motive behind this act of underwater mischief? But as disturbing as that mystery was, there's something even more terrifying to consider. What if a creature believed to be extinct for millions of years suddenly made a comeback? Picture this, a calm night at sea, with the moon casting its silvery glow on the water, creating a scene of perfect tranquility. Everything seemed peaceful. But then, something unusual caught the sailors' attention. A massive whale was swimming through the waves, a magnificent sight on any other night. But this wasn't just any night. Without warning, a gigantic creature emerged from the depths, a megalodon, a prehistoric shark said to be twice the size of the whale. In one swift and terrifying motion, the megalodon grabbed the whale and dragged it down into the abyss, leaving the sailors in stunned silence. The footage of the encounter spread quickly, sparking heated debates. Many concluded that the creature was indeed a megalodon, despite its supposed extinction. However, skeptics claimed the video was nothing more than a clever hoax, just like the footage of a floating house seen in another video that had left people equally baffled. House floating abode at sea. This one is even stranger. One day when a group of sailors came across something that seemed too bizarre to be real, as they cruised along the open water, they spotted something unusual bobbing on the waves. As they drew closer, they couldn't believe their eyes. It wasn't a boat, a raft, or even debris. It was a house, a full-sized house, floating out in the middle of the ocean as if it had simply decided to go on a sea voyage. Naturally, the sailors were stunned, and when the video of the floating abode hit the internet, it set off a flurry of speculation. Experts tried to trace the origin of the house, hoping to uncover some clues about how it had ended up so far from shore, but their efforts turned up nothing. Some people suggested that the house might have been lifted by strong winds during a storm and carried out to sea like a leaf in the wind. But no one could say for sure. Floating stone carpet spotted. Some time ago, sailors were cruising through the southwestern Pacific Ocean, somewhere near Australia, when they stumbled upon something straight out of a sci-fi movie. The ocean's surface was covered in rocks, just chilling there like it was no big deal. And get this, the stone carpet stretched out as far as 200 football fields. So what caused this strange phenomenon? This mind-boggling sight was courtesy of some underwater volcanoes near Tonga. Even though it might happen every few years, seeing this phenomenon up close was enough to make anyone do a double-take. This next one is truly amazing. Whale emerges in all its glory. This time, a boater was peacefully gliding along in his see-through boat when suddenly a massive whale emerged gracefully from the depths. Its majestic tail swayed gently as it rose. The guy's jaw probably hit the floor. He was so amazed, he inched closer to get a better look. And then he noticed a tiny baby whale swimming around, hanging out with its huge mom. Experts think maybe these whales were just taking a little break, like a watery meditation session. It turns out sperm whales, especially the old-timers, have this weird sleep thing going on. They basically stand upright in the water, saving energy while still getting some shut-eye under the sun's warmth. Back in 2013, a group of tourists was out on a boat cruising over the sea when one of them spotted something weird on the shore. Like, really weird. Someone quickly grabs their camera to catch this crazy thing on film. They zoom in, and their eyes almost pop out of their heads. There on the rocks was this creature that looked half-human, half-fish, just chilling in the sun. It was like something out of a fairy tale. Everyone was freaking out, wondering if they were seeing things. Was it really a mermaid? The internet went wild with theories and crazy talk. If there's actually a mermaid swimming around out there, it means there's a whole secret underwater world we know nothing about. Maybe these mermaid folks are trying to send us signals, like little hints about their existence. You know, like those strange things that sometimes happen on the water. It's like they're saying, hey, we're here. Look at us. Strange waves on the Atlantic Ocean. Have you ever gazed out at the stunning beauty of the clear blue ocean? If not, it can be tough to grasp just how upsetting it is when something's wrong with it. 
Imagine the ocean feeling really upset. That's exactly what seemed to be happening in one place. In Santo Domingo, someone snapped a picture of a beach completely covered in junk. But this wasn't your average pile of rubbish. It was like a crazy wave of plastic had crashed onto the shore. Now, seeing plastic waves might sound like something from a weird dream, but it was a harsh reality check for us all. It's a clear sign that our careless habit of tossing stuff away without a second thought is coming back to bite us. Even the ocean, which always seemed so huge and strong, is starting to look worn out. In 2015, some sailors out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean saw something totally spooky. The waves looked like a giant checkerboard. These strange waves, called box waves, aren't something to joke about. They happen when two oceans meet at just the right angle or because of some crazy weather. While they might appear harmless, box waves are super dangerous. When the seas crash together at a right angle, they create super strong currents and waves that can really scare you. So if you ever find yourself face to face with a box wave, your best bet is to get out of the water as fast as you can. A dog's lucky break. Can you imagine being all alone on a tiny chunk of ice floating around in the middle of the big blue ocean? Well, that's exactly what happened to one poor pup. This lonely dog was just chilling out, minding its own business, when suddenly, boom, it found itself stranded on a little iceberg. Talk about a cold shower. Luckily for this four-legged friend, a group of friendly Russian sailors was cruising around and spotted the pup in distress. These guys were total lifesavers. They couldn't just leave the dog out there to freeze, so they came up with a daring rescue plan. One brave sailor, not afraid of a little cold water, strapped on a rope and took a deep breath before plunging into the icy ocean. He swam all the way to that tiny iceberg and managed to grab the shivering dog. Talk about a hero. After what must have felt like a lifetime, the sailor pulled himself and the grateful pup back onto the ship, safe and sound. It's a good thing those sailors were around, huh? The dog probably owes them a big doggy thank you. The awe-inspiring Mariana Trench. When you think about just how big and deep the ocean is, it can be a little overwhelming. Especially when you consider the Mariana Trench. This underwater chasm plunges down an incredible 36,201 feet. To give you some perspective, Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, stands at about 29,000 feet. You could dunk the entire Mount Everest into the trench and its peak still wouldn't reach the ocean's surface. Sunlight only makes it down to around 3,200 feet, and beyond that lies the twilight zone, an eerie realm of darkness where food is scarce and the pressure is intense. By the year 2022, there had been a total of 22 crewed descents and seven uncrewed dives into the Mariana Trench. The first historic crude dive took place way back in 1960 when the Bathyscaphe Trieste, a vessel owned by the United States Navy but designed by brilliant Swiss and Italian engineers, made it to the bottom. The Trieste was piloted by Don Walsh and Jacques Picard, and they initially recorded their depth as 37,800 feet, however, later analysis put the true depth at 35,814 feet, the return of ancient beasts. Imagine, if you will, a serene night on the ocean. The moonlight casts a shimmering path across the water, creating a scene of tranquility and peace. Everything feels perfect, like something straight out of a dream. But then, just when you think it can't get any more beautiful, something extraordinary happens. A massive whale gliding gracefully through the waves becomes the center of attention. But before you can fully appreciate the scene, something even more astonishing occurs. Out of the depths, a colossal creature emerges, twice the size of the whale itself. It's no ordinary fish. It's a megalodon, a giant shark from the prehistoric past, with a power that defies imagination. This ancient predator grabs the unfortunate whale and drags it into the dark abyss. Naturally, the world went wild over this sighting. Was it really a megalodon or just a clever trick of modern technology? The debate was fierce, with some swearing by the footage's authenticity, while others believed it was nothing more than an elaborate hoax. And let's not forget the floating house video that stirred up its own share of skepticism. Was it real or just another wild story? Mysterious Lights and Ancient Gods The Mariana Trench, one of the ocean's deepest secrets, 
has always been a source of fascination and mystery. Stories of strange occurrences, like eerie red lights glowing from the depths, have circulated among deep-sea fishermen and researchers for years. These lights seem to intensify as they approach boats before fading away into the darkness, leaving people to wonder if something truly monstrous, perhaps even a mythical being like Cthulhu, might be lurking in those unfathomable depths. The mention of Cthulhu caused quite a stir among both researchers and the public. Some dismissed it as pure fiction, while others pondered the possibility of such a terrifying creature actually residing in the deepest parts of the ocean. The debate continues, adding to the enigma of the trench, the ocean's eternal mysteries. The deep ocean is like a vast, dark theater where the strangest and most mysterious creatures perform their daily dramas. Just when you think you've seen it all, something new and astonishing appears from the depths. Take, for example, the frilled shark, a living relic from the age of dinosaurs. This fascinating creature, with its eel-like body and mouth full of 300 razor-sharp teeth, can grow up to six and a half feet long. The frilled shark is rarely seen by humans, as it inhabits deep waters, often near the ocean floor. Its unique hunting method involves lunging at prey with its flexible jaws, swallowing them whole. Next we have one legend of the deep, the legends of the deep. Among the ocean's many enigmatic residents, the giant squid stands out as one of the most awe-inspiring and elusive. These massive creatures, boasting eyes as large as basketballs and bodies that can stretch up to 43 feet long, have inspired tales of sea monsters for centuries. Despite their colossal size, giant squids are rarely seen or captured on camera, maintaining an air of mystery that fuels our imagination. Some scientists even speculate that there could be even larger squids out there, potentially reaching heights comparable to four-story buildings, this lingering mystery only adds to the allure of maritime legends like the Kraken, a mythical sea monster believed to terrorize sailors and drag ships into the abyss. The Kraken, often depicted as a giant octopus or squid, has been a part of sailor folklore for centuries. It is said to dwell off the coasts of Norway and Greenland, emerging from the depths to wrap its massive tentacles around ships. While the Kraken itself is a myth, it is likely inspired by real encounters with giant squids, which can grow to impressive sizes and have been known to exhibit aggressive behavior, the bone-eating worms of the abyss. In the pitch-black depths of the ocean, where sunlight never reaches, an extraordinary world thrives. When a whale meets its end, its enormous carcass sinks to the ocean floor, creating a feast for a variety of scavengers. Among these are the bone-eating worms, also known as zombie worms, these strange, plant-like creatures swarm over the skeletons of marine giants, breaking down the bones and consuming the remains in a macabre yet essential process. This eerie spectacle is a vital part of the deep-sea ecosystem, recycling nutrients and sustaining life in this dark and remote environment. To study these fascinating worms, researchers often place animal bones in the deep sea as bait leaving them there for months to observe the slow and steady breakdown by tiny organisms called ossidacs. These worms, which lack mouths and stomachs, secrete acid to dissolve the bones and access the fats and proteins within. Interestingly, these bone-eating creatures can also be found in relatively shallow waters, starting at depths of just 30 feet, adding another layer of intrigue to the mysteries of underwater exploration, the monstrous pelican eel. One of the most terrifying inhabitants of the ocean depths is the pelican eel, a creature that seems to be a blend of plant, serpent, and bird. Officially known as Eurypharynx pelicanoids, this deep-sea eel has a disproportionately large head and mouth, giving it a monstrous appearance. Its massive pouch-like lower jaw, reminiscent of a pelican's beak, can open wide enough to swallow prey much larger than itself. The pelican eel uses bioluminescence to attract prey close to its enormous mouth, allowing it to devour small to medium-sized sea creatures with ease. Living at depths between 500 and 6,000 feet, the pelican eel is rarely encountered by humans, providing some comfort to those who might otherwise fear its chilling presence. This eel's habitat in the deep ocean, where sunlight never penetrates, adds to its mysterious allure. The pelican eel's bioluminescent tail glows in the dark, luring unsuspecting prey into its gaping maw. 
Despite its fearsome appearance, the pelican eel is relatively small, typically growing to about two and a half feet in length. However, the vast, unexplored depths of the ocean leave room for the possibility of even stranger and more formidable creatures awaiting discovery. The pelican eel's unique adaptations and eerie appearance make it a fascinating subject of study for marine biologists and a reminder of the ocean's boundless mysteries, the boundless mysteries of the ocean. The ocean is a realm of endless wonder and terror, a place where myths and reality often intertwine. Among its many enigmatic residents, the giant squid stands out as one of the most awe-inspiring and elusive. These massive creatures, boasting eyes as large as basketballs and bodies that can stretch up to 43 feet long, have inspired tales of sea monsters for centuries. Despite their colossal size, Giant squids are rarely seen or captured on camera, maintaining an air of mystery that fuels our imagination. Some scientists even speculate that there could be even larger squids out there, potentially reaching heights comparable to four-story buildings. This lingering mystery only adds to the allure of maritime legends like the Kraken, a mythical sea monster believed to terrorize sailors and drag ships into the abyss. The ocean's depths are also home to the bone-eating worms, or zombie worms, which thrive in the pitch-black environment where sunlight never reaches. When a whale meets its end, its enormous carcass sinks to the ocean floor, creating a feast for a variety of scavengers. Among these are the bone-eating worms, also known as osidax. These strange, plant-like creatures swarm over the skeletons of marine giants, breaking down the bones and consuming the remains in a macabre yet essential process. This eerie spectacle is a vital part of the deep-sea ecosystem, recycling nutrients and sustaining life in this dark and remote environment. The possibility of even more incredible beings, from ancient creatures like the Megalodon to colossal undiscovered squids, serves as a reminder of how much we have yet to learn about the world beneath the waves. The Megalodon, an extinct species of giant shark that lived approximately 23 to three and a half million years ago, was one of the largest predators to ever roam the oceans. Fossils suggest that it could grow up to 60 feet in length. With a bite force powerful enough to crush the bones of its prey, the mysteries of the deep ocean continue to captivate our imagination, challenging our understanding of life on Earth. As we delve deeper into these uncharted waters, who knows what new wonders and terrors we might uncover. The ocean remains one of the last great frontiers, a place where the boundaries between legend and reality are often blurred. Thank you for watching. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Share what you think in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with more videos exploring the wonders of our world.